Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of parallel lines cut by a transversal, specifically what we learn about angles when that happens, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see that we've got two parallel lines here, so if I wanted to label these lines A and B, I could say that A is parallel, that's our mathematical symbol for parallel to B, and it's cut by this diagonal line C, and it intersects both A and B. So when that happens, we learn all kinds of things. There's different angles that show up here. So first, uh, let's look at corresponding angles. All right, so corresponding angles are angles that are equal, that match, that show up in the same location on these lines. So let's take a look at angle one. If we look at angle one, it's an acute angle, and if we go down the line, you see that it's on the top of line A, so a corresponding angle would be on the top of line B. So we could say that angle one is equal to angle five, simply because that transversal is cutting two parallel lines, because those two correspond. We could also the same thing Say the same thing for 2 and 6. Take a look at angle 2 and 6. They're both obtuse. So we can say angle 2 equals to angle 6. We could also say the same for the bottom set, right? So 4 is going to be equal to 8. Those are both going to be the same obtuse angles. And then 3 is going to be equal to 7. So angle 3 is equal to 7. So those are what we call corresponding angles. And it happens just because that line cuts those two parallel lines. Now we have alternate interior lines. So alternate is going to help us know that we're going on either side of the diagonal, the transversal. Interior means we're on the inside of those parallel lines. And so take a look at this 3 and 5 right here. If you look at both of those, you'll see they're both acute angles, and actually, angle 3 is actually equal to angle 5. And we can also say that angle 4 is equal to angle 6. So we've learned that we've got some corresponding angles, we've learned that we've got some alternate interior angles. And one thing we should have seen, we should have known that obviously if angle 3 is equal to angle 5 and angle 5 is equal to angle 1, right, then we can say that angle 3 is equal to angle 1. Obviously, you've got these angles right here that are going to be equal as well. 2 and 4, 1 and 3, 5 and 7, 6 and 8. Those are all equal to each other simply because they are two lines, they're opposite angles. All right, let's look at alternate exterior. All right, so alternate means we're going on either side of that transversal. Exterior means we're going on the outside of those parallel lines. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So I'm gonna put a star there since we're getting a little bit crowded. Angle two up here is actually gonna be equal to angle eight. So the alternate exterior they're both that big acute angle. Those are going to be the same. And then you've got this angle one that's on the exterior of that parallel line to angle seven. Now, the last thing is a little bit different. Consecutive interior. So watch this, angle three and angle six are not the same, but they are Consecutive, and they're both on the interior. Same thing with angle 4 and angle 5. So we they are not the same. Obviously, one is acute, one is that obtuse. But what we do know is that since they are consecutive, they're on the interior. If you add them up, those are actually supplementary angles. So we know that they are equal to 180 degrees, which we know that angle 4 here is equal to angle 6, so angle 5 and angle 6 are supplementary, they make 180, so that makes sense. There's our answers.